Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Atolagbe Ogini and I create content in fashion and I share tips and tricks on how you can make clothes that you're actually proud to wear. Today I'm going to show you how I made the wrap dress that I'm wearing. The idea of a wrap dress is actually a very versatile one. We have them in in spa robes and bath robes, we have them in beach dresses, we have them in like party clothes and conservative wear. They can be twisted and modified into many different ways. Long shirt, um, midi, what have you. The person who has been credited with having created or having invented wrap dresses is Diane von Fustenberg. However, fashion historians have since clarified that she was actually not the first person to uh, make wrap dresses. Wrap dresses are, were actually already a thing before she made hers for decades actually. And she made hers in 1972-73. But she, like, she brought a new twist to wrap dresses. She made them short and she made them in this um, jersey, clingy fabrics that helped women to feel more feminine and unleash the sexy but enough fashion history for today you too can go to google and wikipedia to find out all about wrap dresses today we're going to talk about how i made my wrap dress you want to make your dress maybe had the um, right length for you at the right um sleep style for you at the, with the right color for you i love the color that mine is made in this is a yellow number and i think that yellow seriously pops don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you get notifications every time that I upload a video so let's get into the tutorial so for this tutorial we're going to need a measuring tape a pattern paper we're going to need a ruler a berry or French curve we're going to need fabric obviously and we're going to need a basic dress pattern but if you don't have that definitely um, grab a well-fitting dress that you have place it on paper fold it into two and trace the front and the back out there it is the feet of what you trace is not that important because we're still going to um, extend this this basic pattern in every possible corner so what i'm doing here is i am extending my center front by 16 centimeters at different points of the center front and now i'm going to get my ruler and i'm going to um, just connect those dots and draw a straight line to um, join them together and this extension is going to form my overlap so um, from here i'm going to find the point of the point where my waist is so that I can use that as a reference for drawing the V of my neck and from the from my neck I'm going to measure four centimeters that's what I did there and um, from this line this four centimeter line I'm going to just um, use my ruler to draw a V from the line this um, and then I'm using my curve to you know just eliminate any sharp edges and you know, so kind of just smoothing out the transition from um, the upper part to the lower part. This is my center front. I'm labeling it, and um, I'm going to extend my waist by 10 centimeters. And I'm just using the edge of my paper as a guide here, so that I can um, achieve a straight line. And then I'm going to just square down from the waist down to the hem, and then square up from the waist to the um, shoulder so from here i'm also extending my armhole down by about, about 5 cm although i later would extend this even further and um, from here i'm going to just also extend my shoulder there's so much extension in this tutorial because we're making a boxy dress that will be held up or um, shapened by a belt so I'm just going to join my side seam line back to the shoulder and as you can see I've already extended that shoulder so this is what my front pattern looks like after I'm done 
drafting it and then i'm going to repeat the very same thing at the back extend from the waist by about 10 cm just square down and square up and also go on to extend the shoulder and extend the armhole by the way, I'm measuring 23 centimeters from my um, shoulder down to from my armhole. And I'm also now drawing the four centimeter wide and, and long um, extension for the neck of my back and then i'm just going to get a very curve to smoothen it out and make it a perfect and nice curve there and um, this is what my back pattern looks like when i'm done and i'm going to get my scissors and just going to cut that out ignore my phone please So because I realized that I forgot to draft out the extension in the center front, I'm just going to um, take down, you know, scrap paper to make up for that, you know, just something that's four centimeters or enough to measure four centimeters. I'm just going to use my set square. You can use a ruler, you can use a tape rule for this. Just going to measure four cm um, on this line from up down and i'm going to join those you know dots i'm going to connect them together with my set square and i'm going to use my very curve to just um, make the curve perfect and nice and smooth and i'm going to cut that out and this will be the extension for my front from here i am transferring my sleeve pattern to this paper and I'm going to extend this at the head to I'm going to extend it by about 16 centimeters yeah at both sides because we're making um, larger sleeves right we're exaggerating them so um, down at the hem I extended by about 10 cm at both sides and I also lengthened the sleeve by about 18 centimeters because I thought that um, I wasn't sure how I wanted my the edge of my sleeve to be yet at this time but by the time I was um, done sewing the sleeve, I decided to just keep the length simple and, you know, no bubble sleeves, nothing. So I just eventually clipped off 23 centimeters from this length and I turned them into pockets. Genius. <laughs> So this is what it looks like when um, it's closed together. Okay, so now we're going to cut our fabric by, you know, I'm ta I tipped down the uh, pattern to the, to the fabric and now I'm just adding the um, sleeve allowance. <laughs> I'm just adding the seam allowances. I added one centimeter in the center front and 1.5 cm at the shoulder and at the sides. And now I'm just, you know, cutting them out, cutting out the fabric. This is my front fabric. And I'm going to just notch where the sleeve is going to end so that there are no mistakes because, you know, I have a straight line here and I could easily just, um, you know, have an issue identifying where it is. I'm doing the same thing with um, my extensions as well. And just ironing fusible interfacing onto these extensions. Okay, so now I'm sewing, just sewing, sewing, sewing. So in order to um, sort of like create fullness, I am going to use the highest stitch length that I have, which is a four on my brother's sewing machine. I'm going to... Um, Turn it to four stitch length. I'm going to use that to stitch the top of my sleeve 
without securing the stitches. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to um, grab a thread sticking out from any of the sides and I'm just going to pull and tug at it and I'm going to create fullness and um, you know sort of like gathers and ruffles in the edge of the sleeve until I have something that's um, really evenly distributed and I have like even fullness in the head. Just patiently pull, 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 pull in, pull in. Yeah, so this is the even distribution that I was able to achieve. And now I'm going to just join that to my, um, the body of my fabric, the body of my dress. It's not a mere fabric any longer. The next thing for me is to join my extensions. They should actually form an X. This arrangement is wrong. Um, they should be put together the other way. And allow the next couple of shots to inspire you towards making your own dress. I hope that this tutorial was helpful for you. I hope it was informative. If it was, please subscribe to my channel so that you can um, watch more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching. Until I see you again next time. Bye. Thank you.